How's it going, people? I still got a little of this. It ain't bad. A little expensive, though. At least here in the U.S. Playing some Beethoven. So far, that's been safe. Although somebody thinks they own uh, Gershwin's music and uh, and Richard Wagner. Maybe they do. I don't know how that works. I'm just a YouTuber. Not a damn lawyer. Or a scientist. Or a philosopher. Or a prophet. Or an expert of any kind. What the fuck am I doing here? Oh, that's right. Fuck it, I don't care. That's what I'm doing here. Alright. Alma, 56. Helaman's Epistle to Moroni. Wonderful faith and valor of the stripling Ammonites. I've got to look that word up. Another great battle. Good. Nephites, should I tell you? No, I'm too late. Victorious. Might have ruined us. I just spoiled the Denema. One. And now it came to pass. Mm, you do get a hint of scotch at first, and then it's gone. That's kind of a tease. In the commencement of the 30th year of the reign of the judges on the second day in the first month Moroni received an epistle from Helaman stating the affairs of the people in that quarter of the land Two, and these are the words which he wrote saying my dearly beloved brother Moroni, as well in the Lord as in the tribulations of our warfare. Behold, my beloved brother, I have somewhat to tell you concerning our warfare in this part of the land, but only somewhat. Three, behold, Two thousand of the sons of those men who Ammon brought out of the land of Nephi. Now ye have known that these were descendants of Laman, who was the eldest son of our father Lehi. Or, yeah, we know all that. Now, I need not rehearse unto you that you're going to, concerning their traditions or their unbelief, for thou knowest concerning all the, these things. Five. Therefore it sufficeth me that I tell you that two thousand of these young men have taken their weapons of war and would that I should be their leader. And we have come forth to defend our country. Six. And now, ye also know concerning the covenant which their fathers made, that they would not take up their weapons of war against their brethren to shed blood, Seven. But in the twenty and sixth year, when they saw our afflictions and our tribulations for them, they were about to break the covenant which they had made and take up their weapons of war and our defense. So we're repeating parts of the last chapter. The chapter before, I forget. Eight, 
but I would not suffer them that they should break this covenant, which they had made, supposing that God would strengthen us, and so much that we should not suffer more because of the fulfilling of the oath which they had taken. I. But behold, here is one thing in which we may have great joy. For behold, in the twenty and sixth year, got an asterisk, B.C. 66. And I see right next to it, there's a little cross. It says B.C. 65, so we're moving right along. Got to get to that Jeebus's birthday. <laughs> Twenty and six year, I, Helaman, did march at the head of these 2,000 young men to the city of Judea. Not the other one. <laughs> the American one. To assist Antipas, whom ye have appointed a leader over the people of that part of the land. Ten. And I did join my two thousand sons, parenticles, for they were worthy to be called sons in parenticles, <laughs> to the army of Antipas, in which a strength Antipas did rejoice exceedingly. For behold, his army had been reduced by the Lamanites because of because their forces had slain a vast number of our men. For which cause we have to mourn. Eleven. Nevertheless, we may console ourselves in this point, that they have died in the cause of their country and their God who doesn't seem to be doing much for him, <laughs> except speaking through the prophets. Yay! And they are happy. Wait, what? They died and they're happy? What? <laughs> no, they died and they're dead! <laughs> they died and they're happy. I gotta read verse 11 again, sorry. Nevertheless, we may console ourselves in this point that they have died in the cause of their country and their God, yea, and they are happy. I guess you have to take that on faith. 12. And the Lamanites have also retained many prisoners, all of whom are chief captains, for none other have they spared alive, those bastards. And we suppose that they are now at this time in the land of Nephi. It is so if they are not slain. And let's see, who wiped out who? Thirteen. And now. Hang on. Mm. And now. These are the cities of which the Lamanites have obtained possession by the shedding of blood. Shedding of the blood of so many of our valiant men. Fourteen. The land of Manti, or the city of Manti, one of those, probably of both, but it says or instead of and, and the city of Zeezrom, and the city of Kumani, and the city of Antipera, Antipera. 
15. And these are the cities which they possessed when I arrived at the city of Judea. And I found Anti Antipas and his men toiling with their might to fortify the city. 16. Yea, and they were and they were depressed in body as well as in spirit, for they had fought valiantly by day and toiled by night to maintain their cities, and thus they had suffered great afflictions of every kind. 17. And now they were determined to conquer in this place or die. Therefore, you may have may well suppose that this little force which I brought with me, yea, those sons of mine, gave them great hopes and much joy. Eighteen, and now it came to pass, thanks, Helaman, Uh, that, when the Lamanites saw that Antipas had received a greater strength to his army, they were compelled by the orders of Amoron, Amoron to not come against the city of Judea or battle against us or against us to, to battle. 19. And thus were we favored of the Lord, for had they come upon us in this our weakness, they might have perhaps destroyed our little army. But thus were we preserved. It's a miracle. Thank you, Jeebus. You're not even born yet. 20. They were commanded by Amaron to maintain those cities which they had taken, and thus ended the twenty and sixth year. And in the commencement of the twenty and seventh year, we had prepared our city and ourselves for defense in BC 65. 21. And we were desirous that the Lamanites should come upon us. For we were not desirous to make an attack upon them in their strongholds. That's like schoolyard shit, you know. You gotta hit first. And it's all built. It's all about honor, I guess. I don't know. I think it's honorable just not to get into those situations. Think of a way out. Come on. People are supposed to be smart. But maybe not. 22. And it came to pass. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Beethoven. It's his fault. Mm. That is really nice. 22. And it came to pass that we uh, kept spies out round about, out round about, to watch the movements of the Lamanites that they might not pass us by night nor by day to make an attack upon our other cities which were on the northward. 23. For we knew in those cities they were not sufficiently strong to meet them. Therefore we were desirous, if they should pass us by, to fall upon them in their rear, and thus bring them up in the rear. At the same time, they were met in the front. We supposed that we could overpower them, but behold, we were disappointed in this our desire. 24. They 
Durst not pass by us with their whole army, neither durth they with a part, lest they should not be sufficiently strong and they should fall. 25. Neither durst they march down against the city of Zarahemla, neither, neither, neither durst they cross the head of Sidon over to the city of nephi -ha. Sounds like a, a donkey that stutters. <laughs> nephi -ha. I think I tripped on that before. All right, 26. And thus, with their forces, they were determined to maintain those cities which they had taken. 27. And now came to pass. In the second month of this year, <laughs> there was brought unto us many provisions from the fathers of those my two thousand sons. Twenty-eight. And also there were sent two thousand men unto us from the land of Zarahimla. And thus we were prepared with ten thousand men and provisions for them and also for their wives and their children. 29. And the Lamanites, thus seeing our forces increase daily, and provisions arrive for our support, they began to be fearful, and began to sally forth. Sally forth. Sounds like a comic book character. Uh, <laughs> like somebody that would date Archie. <laughs> sally forth. If it were possible to put an end to our receiving provisions and strength. All right, they want to cut your supply line. I get it. Damn, did it have to take that many, that much gold? Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sally Forth. 30. Now. When we saw that the Lamanites began to grow uneasy on this wise, we were desirous to bring a stratagem into effect <coughs> upon them. Therefore, Antipas ordered that I should march forth with my little sons. That's his stripling studs. Little sons. <laughs> it sounds like solar worship to me. <laughs> uh, little sons to a neighboring city as if we were carrying provisions to a neighboring city. 31. And we were to march near the city of Antiopus as if we were going to the city uh, to the city beyond in the borders by the seashore 32 and it came to pass <sighs> that we did march forth as if with our provisions to go to that city. Excuse me.
Tasty. Thirty-three! And it came to pass! I didn't expect that. Caught me off guard. Ugh. That Antiopus Antipas <clears throat> Antipas did march forth with a part of his army, leaving the remainder to maintain the city. But he did not march forth until he had gone forth by with my little army, and came near the city, Antipas. Yeah, Antipas. <clears throat> Thirty-four. And now, in the city, Antipera, were stationed the strongest army of the Lamanites. Yea, the most numerous. Thirty-five. And it came to pass. that when uh, they had been informed by their spies, they came forth with their army and marched against us. <laughs> 36. And it came to pass that we did flee before them northward, and thus we did lead away the most powerful army of the Lamanites. 37. Yea, even to a considerable distance, inasmuch... Can't get, tell us how far? Really? I guess. That's probably... That's probably accurate. That... When they saw the army of Antipas pursuing them, with their might they did not turn to the right nor to the left, but pursued their march in a straight course after us. And, as we suppose, it was their intent to slay us before Antipas should overtake them, and, uh, and this, that they might not be surrounded by our people. Makes sense. And now, Antipas be holding our danger did speed the march of his army. Miracle. But behold, it was night. Therefore, they did not overtake us. Neither did Antipas overtake them. Therefore, we did camp for the night. Really? 39. And it came to pass. I don't know if I could camp if I know someone's chasing after me. I think I just developed night vision or <laughs> take a few bruises. <sighs> but everybody's different. 39. And it came to pass that before the dawn of the morning, behold, behold, the Lamanites were pursuing us. <laughs> now, we were not sufficiently strong to contend with them. <clears throat> Yea, we would not suffer that my little son should fall into their hands. Therefore, we did continue our march, and we took our march into the wilderness. 40. Now they durst not turn to the right nor to the left, lest they should be surrounded. Neither would I turn to the right nor to the left, lest they should overtake me. And we could not stand against them. Hmm. 
but be slain, and they would make their escape. And thus we did flee all that day into the wilderness until it was dark. You know, nice time for a miracle or something. It's been a while, and none of them have been very impressive. the ability to work harder and run faster. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Forty-two. But it came to pass. Yes, it always does. That they did not pursue us far before they halted. And it was in the morning of the third day of the seventh month. Forty-three. And now, whether they were overtaken by Antipas, we knew not. But I said unto my men, Behold, we know not, but they have halted for the purpose that we should come against them, that they might catch us in their snare. <clears throat> 44. Therefore, what say ye, my sons, will ye go against them to battle? 45. And now I say unto you, my beloved brother Moroni, that Never have I seen so great courage, nay, not amongst all the Nephites. 46. For as I have ever called them my sons, parenthicals, for they were all of them very young, and parenthicals, even so they said unto me, Father, behold, our God is with us. And it's about time he did something. Oh, parenthesis, me. <laughs> he, he, our, behold, our God is with us, and he will not suffer that we should fall, unless it's his will. <laughs> then let us go forth, if we would not slay our brethren, if they would not let us alone. Therefore, let us go, lest they should overpower the army of Antipas. 47. Now, yeah, I mean, really, what the fuck? <laughs> 47. Now, they never had fought yet. They did not fear death. And they did not think more upon the liberty of their fathers than they did upon their lives, yea. They had been taught by their mothers that if they did not doubt, God would deliver them. 48. And they rehearsed unto me the words of their mothers, saying, we do not doubt our mothers knew it. We do not doubt our mothers knew it. All right. 49. Some of this is really bad. It was getting good for a while, and then fucking verse 48 blew it. 49. Makes up old. It came to pass. And it came to pass. <sighs> that I did return with my two thousand against these Lamanites who had pursued us, and now behold, the armies of Antipas had overtaken them, and a terrible battle had commenced. Fifty. The army of Antipas, being weary because of their long march, 
in so short a space of time, were about to fall into the hands of the Lamanites, and had I not returned with my two thousand, and good thing they talked you into it, Mr. Courageous Commander. And he's reporting this in writing in his epistle. I'm so convinced. Fifty. The army of Antipas, being weary because of their long march in so short a space of time, were about to fall into the hands of the Lamanites. Uh. And had I not returned with my two thousand, they would have obtained their purpose. <laughs> Fifty-one. For Antipas had fallen by the sword, and many of his leaders, because of their weary weariness, which was occasion occasioned by the speed of their march, as you just said, and needed to repeat on gold. Therefore, the men of Antipas, being confused because of the fall of their leaders, began to give way before the Lamanites. Fifty-two, excuse me. don't say. Ah. And it came to pass. Mm. That the Lamanites took courage and began to pursue them. And thus were the Lamanites pursuing them with great vigor when Helaman came upon their rear with his two thousand, and began to slay them exceedingly, insomuch the whole army of the Lamanites halted fifty-four. And now it came to pass that we, the people of Nephi, the people of Antipas, and I with my two thousand, did surround the Lamanites and did slay them, yea, insomuch that they were compelled to deliver up their weapons of war, and also themselves as prisoners of war. 55. <clears throat> and now... It came to pass that when they had surrendered themselves <coughs> up unto us, behold, I numbered those young men who had fought with me fearing lest there were many of them slain. 56. But behold, to my great joy, there was not one soul of them fallen to the earth. Yay! <clears throat> and they had fought as if with the strength of God. And the Lamanites so far have been fighting with the strength of a dragon. But probably not this time. But I mean, yeah, the strength of God. Damn! Yea, never were men known to have fought with such miraculous strength and with such mighty power did they fall upon the Lamanites that they did frighten them and for this cause did the Lamanites deliver themselves 
up as prisoners of war. 57. And as we had no place for our prisoners that we could guard them and keep them from the armies of the Lamanites, therefore we sent them to the land of Zarahimla. And a part of those men who were not slain of Antipas took them, and the remainder I took and joined them to my stripling Amna. Amor Wait. Ammonite <laughs> my stri stripe stripling Ammonites and took our march back to the city of Judea and that's it for 56 so anyway uh, a lot of that didn't make much sense but some of it was kind of fun I hope you learned something let me know what it is Okay. Peace. The fuck? Ow. Wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Damn it, have a wonderful one. Please.